today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious Korean Napa cabbage side dish called Pechu Denjang Muchim using Korean soybean paste called Denjang. This Napa cabbage side dish is slightly salty, crunchy, juicy, and so highly addictive. And it has all the yummy flavors of Korean Denjang. And Denjang is the Korean version of Japanese miso paste. And in my opinion, Denjang is way more tastier than miso paste. And if you don't want to cook or it's one of those hot days during the summer, all you need is a side dish with some rice and you have yourself a perfect Meal. 오늘의 레시피 맛있는 배추 된장 무침 만들기 오늘도 여러분들과 영어로 함께 하겠습니다. So delicious. It's my baby. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다. So when you bring your Napa cabbage home, you'll notice that the exterior leaves are often very wilted, bruised, and generally just not pretty enough to be included in your kimchi making. Oftentimes people throw this away, but no, Koreans, we use the exterior leaves. We call them munnanidul, and which basically means uglies. We use these to make so many delicious dishes. And today we're gonna make our pechu denjang muchim using these exterior exterior leaves that are often rejected and we're going to give it a lot of TLC and make it super delicious. Cut the root end off and just take the exterior leaves out like so. Once you take the exterior leaves off, the uglies, the yellow part of the cabbage is called albechu. Next recipe is on making albechu kimchi. So save this and for our ugly leaves, we need about 350 gram-ish our exterior leaves. Just cut off any part that's like really dirty looking or extra mushy. Otherwise, everything else here looks good. So we're just gonna cut it down the middle like that. We're gonna make these into strips. So this one right here, and you just peel it off. You could also do it this way. You hold this up and you go down and down. That's how my grandma used to do it. You just tear it off, same thing, and just keep on going. And here's our last one like that and then you just tear it like so here i have four quart size pot filled about a little more than halfway with water and then bring it to boil so we need about one tablespoon of coarse sea salt add it to your pot then we're gonna add our napa cabbage that we cut up make sure to dunk it so that the leaves are fully submerged in the water and then i have two garlic cloves here and we're going to add them to our blanching water and you want your heat to remain high put the garlic cloves so that it's also submerged in the water turn it over and we're going to cook this on high heat for three minutes Okay, so it's been three minutes. Now we're gonna turn our heat off completely and quickly bring this over to the sink. And then quickly with cold water, we're gonna bring down the temperature of our blanched cabbage as quickly as possible. It will take about three to four rinse with cold water to bring down the temperature of our cabbage so that when you touch it, it's nice and cold and our garlic cloves, we're gonna put it to the side and I'm gonna tell you later why this is important to blanch your garlic cloves now. Shake it, pick up a little bit, just enough so that it fits in your hand and then you just squeeze. One, gently, two, three, four. You don't wanna over squeeze either so that it looks like this and then you break it up and then you add it to your mixing bowl right here. Just break it up like that. At this point, I want you to take one and literally taste it. Always taste your ingredients when you cook, I say. I kid you not, it literally tastes sweet. Because we blanched our Napa cabbage, 
leaves in salted water. It just enhances the natural, sweet, juicy taste. You could just eat it as is too, but we're gonna make it extra tasty with some Tim Jack seasoning. Right now, make sure to go to youtube.com slash modern pepper and click on the playlist tab and click on Korean side dishes recipe playlist. And I have a whole library of Korean side dishes recipes that you could check out and so that we can make more Korean food together. So I will see you there. All right, so we're gonna push our cabbage leaves to the side like that. And I have one tablespoon of doenjang. I'm gonna wipe off the excess from my spoon and then wipe it on my cabbage here on the side. And here's the garlic that we blanched earlier. So we're gonna take a microplane and just grate it. You could mince it with your knife too. It's up to you. Then turn it over, grate it in here. So when you blanch your garlic, it takes out the raw flavor and it just makes it taste sweeter and better, in my opinion. One teaspoon of ooh, soy sauce. All-purpose soy sauce is fine. Half teaspoon of brown sugar. One scallion, finely minced. One tablespoon of sesame oil, chamgirim. And half tablespoon of Sesame seeds crushed with salt, kesogum. You could totally make this at home if you have sesame seeds and I have a video for that, so I'll link it in the description box below. Some black pepper, I say a small pinch. And this part's optional. I'm gonna just add a small pinch of gochugaru, that's Korean red pepper flakes. Now this is optional, this is called sogogi dashita. I'm taking a small pinch, literally just a tiny pinch, and I'm gonna add it here. Vegan friends use yandu. This is to make it like restaurant style good. It's a flavor enhancer. And then just go in with your hands and mix up our seasoning first. Oh, it smells so good in here. I'm telling you, sesame oil does wonders. You start to salivate, <laughs> at least I do when I smell sesame oil. It smells nutty and creamy. And then we just mix and mix. It's one of my favorite side dishes that my grandmother used to make for me. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you guys to go Google all the nutritional values of having Napa cabbage. It is so healthy for you. So after you hand mix like so, this is ready. Less taste test, because you might like it saltier or less salty, you know? Mm. It tastes perfect, I love it. It's perfect amount of saltiness, and the magic ingredient is doenjang, Korean soybean paste. I'm gonna entice you to try doenjang because it's like comparing two cheeses. Miso paste is your sort of cleaner, milder tasting cheese, and doenjang, Korean soybean paste, is more of a heavier, creamier, more flavorful cheese, you know? They're both delicious, but in my opinion, doenjang is like another level of deliciousness. So delicious, it's my baby. <laughs> hey, minimal calories, but so tasty. Now we need to have this with Korean rice. I'm just gonna plate it like a mini mountain. I want you to look at this liquid. OMG. <laughs> that is Twinjang delicious liquid that you're gonna love. All right, so we pick one up. And this is the reason why I cut everything into strips. It just tastes better this way. Now we put it on our rice like so, so that we could pick it up like that. Our Napa cabbage with delicious tenjang seasoning and warm curry rice. Ah, uh, this is a biteful. And my vegan friends, you welcome. And my other way to eat this is this delicious tenjang liquid juice. We pour it on our rice like that. <gasps> Oh, I'm sharing you with you all my secrets. And then we go in with our spoon and you eat it like that. This tenjang liquid with rice, ah. I wish I could feed you because you're missing out if you've never had this. It's so darn delicious. Bon appetit, everyone. Mmm, mmm. It kind of sounds weird that Napa cabbage would taste this delicious, but it really does, it really does. It's so good with Korean rice together. Oh. Anyway, I hope you try this at home. I mean, it's so delicious, and my vegan friends, 
seriously, thank you for watching. This one's for you guys. I want to thank you for watching today. And if you enjoyed watching today's video, I want to kindly, kindly ask you to click on that thumbs up icon as always. Doing so supports my channel tremendously. So I want to thank you in advance and make sure to subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. 여러분, 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼과 구독 버튼도 눌러주세요. 감사합니다. 다음 비디오에서 꼭 뵙겠습니다. Alright folks, I will see you in one of the videos you see right here.